Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here. Hi, my name is Katie. I am so happy that you're here. If you've clicked on today's video, you probably have interest in getting a breast augmentation. You might have one scheduled. You might also be in the planning stages of what the heck to buy for post-op. So that's what I want to provide you guys with today. Um, this video will probably be really short, but right to the point. And everything that I have, and we have a little box. Um, these are all of the necessity things that I kind of gathered from other YouTubers, from um, surgeon recommendations, from friends who've gotten their breasts done. So I hope this video is really helpful for those of you who are looking for what the heck to get um, for surgery, for post-op recovery, all of those things. Um, my surgery is September 12th, so I think I'll probably be releasing this video on the day that I am getting surgery. I post videos every Monday, um, but I am so excited. It's, it's literally a week and a day away from me filming this right now, so um, very excited. I feel prepared, but let's dive on into the video, and also one more thing. If you are thinking of getting a, a breast augmentation, you have thoughts about it, I am going to be vlogging this whole thing um, definitely like through week one and then I'll be doing updates and just things like that. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe so you can follow along this journey with me. But let's go ahead and jump right in. I have all the goods. We got it all in here. So um, in no order, I'm just going to throw out, you know, pull out first what we have so first up ice packs I have I bought a lot of ice packs but it's fine so these ones are and both of these are like hot and cold ones but these are like in the shape of a circle um so obviously like it'll just be really nice to have and then I also bought ice packs that are like I got a lot of ice packs I don't know why I got so many but we have circle ones, we have square, rectangle, or these are both rectangles. So I think that we are all set on ice packs. And so I'll be using that definitely because um, skin just is going to be a little sore. Um, my surgeon, he's doing the under the muscle approach. So yeah, chesty is going to be very sore. You're probably going to feel really tight. So we're going to need ice packs for sure um the next thing so they do prescribe pain medicines and everything like that i hope to not be taking pain meds for too long but a recommendation from a lot of friends of mine is miralax so we just want to avoid any kind of issues um with pain medicine so we have the miralax on deck in case we need it and i really hope we don't um next up is two different oils so honestly no these are yeah different kinds of oils so this is and i found this off of a youtuber i think but it is a bio oil it's a bio oil so this is going to help with reducing scars stretch marks and I'm going a lot bigger and I don't have a lot working with me right now. So I'm going to be putting this on to help just keep my skin super moisturized, help with, you know, minimizing actual stretch marks coming through because my skin is going to get stretched. So we are going to be putting this on every single day, everywhere on skin and pray that we don't get stretch marks. Um, it also says help with scarring. So I will have like little steri strips, um, which are supposed to stay on until they fall off. But after that, I'm gonna start putting this oil also on the scars. And then also another oil that I was recommended was this vitamin E, maybe? This vitamin E oil. Um, there we go. This vitamin E oil, and again, that's supposed to kind of help with reducing scar appearance, moisturizing. Um, this pretty much the same as this but we have two but yeah vitamin e oil i was told was really good um for moisturizing so we will definitely be using this to its fullest potential 
And then next thing, this is the last thing over like scarring. Actually, no, we have we have a lotion now. So we are literally on deck for everything. Like we have two oils and we have this I'm about to talk about. This is a vitamin E cream. So it's a moisturizer. So again, we're gonna be putting that on every single day. Um, because we just again don't want stretch marks to happen. And we want our scarring to go away. And then the last thing for scars is I bought these, um, they're like scar removal pads. And so it's, it claims that like it'll visibly make your scar go away in six weeks on, on new scars and two to, two to four months on old scars. So they're like little strips that you like place on the scar part and it's supposed to completely diminish and take the scar away so fingers crossed this works but we will start using this immediately as like as soon as we can once the scabs like scabs of my scars you know my uh, incisions come off we are we are going all in on this um and i think you're just supposed to like put them on and like not take them off um oh yeah it says what does it say? Okay, so you wear them four to eight hours per day for the first few days. And then you, oh, and then you start using them for 24 hours. Um, so yeah, so these literally do stay on like 12, for like at least 12 hours after you work up to that point. But it's supposed to take your scar away. So I am going to give it its best shot and see if it actually works. Um, okay little clothing pieces i got three um three sports bras these are actually really cute bras too but they suggest getting like things that are easy to slip on zip up button up and so obviously when i'm post-op i'm not gonna want to like want to lift my arms in the air and like stretch this you know the this chest area so we got three zip up bras um so then i can just like slide the bra on and zip it up so it will take very minimal movement and then they also say too i already have a ton of like comfy clothes but like sweats things that are easy to just like slip on are really important or like little zip up jackets that way you can just slide it on and like just zip it up there's again not a lot of movement in this muscle area especially probably for the first week because everything's gonna be pretty sore so we at least got three and then i'm gonna get another one i'm gonna get one when i am done with surgery and then they already gave me one with my um pre-op appointment so i think we're gonna be set on bras i need to probably get a couple more shirts but i do have a lot of like zip jackets like this so i think I honestly i might be okay and i'll probably just be like lounging in sweatpants and in my sports bra for a while um so that'll be like my fashion wardrobe for a couple weeks probably um last product which i'm so hopeful for i'm like i'm hoping this really does work like everyone says it does um but i first discovered this like products not really like i discovered so i watched a tiktok about someone who got their wisdom teeth out and she was drinking like all this pineapple juice beforehand and like it's supposed to like literally sh like not have swelling at all and i watched it and she literally had no swelling after her wisdom teeth procedure and i'm like okay what is it in the pineapples that like why does that happen and apparently it is this enzyme called, I might butcher the name, but it's called bromelain. And this is an enzyme that is like a super high anti-inflammatory and it's recommended a lot in like post-procedural things. So I was looking at more on it and a lot of surgeons um, do suggest their patients take this like a couple weeks before their breast augmentation surgery and then leading up through because it really helps with swelling with um, inflammation all these things so i'm like if i if this works and this can help me heal faster and like have my body have a better response to the surgery like we're gonna give it a best go so i've just been throwing this in my greens every single day and it's tasteless and 
we're hopeful. Well, I am really hoping this works and I think it probably will because I had another friend who got her breast done and she was like, you should eat a ton of pineapples like before. And it's like, what? And I'm like, okay, so yeah, we should be good because this is, this is it right here. This is the reason why they say to have pineapples. So super good for a procedure, post procedure. So oh, we're helpful. I just want to not be like super swollen for too long. So if this works, it's literally going to be the best day ever. So those are the things I definitely already like that I bought for surgery next week. Um, things that I still might get or one thing that I still might get is because um, it's one of those like the body pillows that like wrap around the back because you have to sleep like at a 45 degree angle or like literally just sleep upright for a while so I do have a lot of pillows in my apartment but I might just buy one of those pillows to have just so it has better stability uh, and then I do have it but I just I think it's in my car it's a neck pillow like those travel neck pillows um because when you are sleeping upright you don't want your neck to like Go one way or the other so they recommend also using that as well so those are what i definitely bought i think that's de uh, like really all I, i'm gonna need for recovery so that is all i bought um again if you are someone who is going to be getting your breast done or you're looking into it and you know you're kind of just in that beginning stage like give my page a subscribe and i will be posting series of my breast augmentation process and journey and all of the things over the next like couple probably a couple of months honestly i want to do like a one week like a one week vlog of everything maybe a question answer and then like a ch like a six month check-in on how everything's going and whatnot so um if you are thinking about it that's gonna be something you want to follow along for so Anyway, I hope you guys have the best day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.